We'll be covering the installation of Rustbuster's full center frame with rear control arm mounts for the TJ Wrangler. Before you begin, if at any point you are uncomfortable with any of the processes, we strongly suggest you seek out the work of a professional. Ensure you have all the required tools listed and ensure you follow all the manufacturer's safety precautions and operations while using them. Step 1. Disconnect your vehicle's battery and inspect for potential fire hazards such as leaking fuel lines and engine components. Repair or remove these before starting and remove any fire hazards from the work area. Step 2. Lift your vehicle and support its rear axle with jack stands for driver and passenger sides. Step 3. Remove any factory or aftermarket steps or guards. Remove the lower control arm bolt using a 21mm socket and a 21mm wrench. Remove the upper control arm bolt using a 15mm socket. Rotate the control arms down and out of the way. This may require you to loosen the axle side bolts. Remove the upper sway bar end link bolt using an 18mm socket. Mark 1.5 inches from the top of the frame rail on the inside and outside. You'll do this from the front most body mount bracket to the bend at the rear frame section. This will be your cut line. Step 4. Begin cutting away the frame rail along the drawn line. Remove cut sections in between the body mount brackets. If you experience difficulty, grind all cut edges smooth for easier fitment. Step 5. Test fit the part by attempting to push the part into place and over the frame rails. Take note of any difficulties and cut away any obstructions. The part may fit snugly and require force. Step 6. Once the part has been fitted, prepare your weld zones by clearing away any rust or debris, revealing bare metal. If you wish to coat the entire part, coat the part with a weldable primer or other rust inhibitor to help prevent or reduce the risk of rust formation at this time. Replace the part and C-clamp and tack weld it into place to prevent it from moving later. Step 7. Remove any remaining potential fire hazards on both the vehicle and surrounding area. Following proper welding procedures, begin welding the part onto the frame rails. 100% weld around all edges. Step 8. If you chose not to protect the part in Step 6, coat the part and work area with a primer or other rust inhibitor. Step 9. Begin reassembling your vehicle. Starting with your lower control arm bolt. Reinstall your upper control arm bolt. Reinstall your upper sway bar end link. Reinstall the six transfer case skid plate bolts. Reinstall your rear section of the exhaust. Reinstall your gas tank, cords, and tubes. Reinstall any factory or aftermarket steps or guards. Reinstall your wheels. Reconnect your battery and you're done.